So, we find Lee Marvin in the declining West in our film at five past eleven tomorrow evening as a tough, fighting, boozing and hard-living cowboy who's just grown older and now finds himself out of step with the times. As Monty Walsh, she finds that life has changed in the 25 years since he first rode the range and the ranch she now goes to work for is owned by East Coast money men. Jack Palance and Jean Moreau are his co-stars and the screenplay is based on the novel by Jack Schaefer who also wrote Shane. Well, that's at five past eleven, and before that, well, they usually the rest of the evening with Terry Wogan and his guests beginning things at seven o'clock, and later, at ten fifteen, there's Omnibus and a journey quickly up the Thames with writer Eric Newby, who incidentally is also the guest on Breakfast Time in the morning. Well, over on BBC Two now, Harry Carpenter is presenting highlights from the first round of the Open from Royal St George's. But now let's look at the weather, and Scotland and Northern Ireland will have sunny intervals and showers, Parts of northern and eastern England may have sunny intervals at first, but England and Wales will be generally cloudy, with outbreaks of rain or showers spreading from the west. Temperatures will be generally below normal for July. The outlook for the weekend, sunny intervals and showers becoming drier in the south on Sunday, temperatures near or rather below normal. <laughs> A grain pit looks like a sand pit to a child. It looks like somewhere nice to play. But it's not. It's like quicksand. But it's a way to drown without water. It will suck a child down before you can save it. So keep the children away. And put a grid on it. That was a public information film. Well, just a reminder that tomorrow sees the first night of the proms when BBC Two combines with Radio Three to bring Handel's Messiah in the presence of their Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Kent. Well, now, thank you for being with us tonight. We've come to the end of this Thursday evening, but we look forward to having you around tomorrow. And now from me, Martin King, and, uh, well, from all of us here on BBC One, a very good night to you. Good night. <laughs>